What's going on guys? Jay here, smarthelping.com. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use a pivot table to simplify uh, data and tabulate it. So this is a non-formula way to tabulate data for your business or company. Before I get into it, remember, check out smarthelping.com for more financial models, tools, templates. I do a lot of forecasting, uh, financial statements of all kinds of different companies, SaaS. I do a lot of real estate underwriting tools. Um, industry-specific models with very unique logic for uh, forecasting revenues, expenses, cash flow, um, distribution waterfalls, some accounting tools and finance tools uh, for tracking things, all sorts of stuff. So check out smarthelping.com if you want to see some advanced templates. And we'll get back into this pivot table. So it's really simple and this is again for people who don't really like formulas so pivot tables they've been around forever almost as long as excel has been around i think and to use them it's real simple let's say i have some names here this is just an example data set i have some names emails and then some attribute about these names and i want to say well i want to know how many names are blue how many names are green uh or how many emails etc so what i do is i highlight this and I simply go to insert, pivot table, table or range, select the whole range. Want to make sure your headers are in there and your data needs to be clean. Uh, we could put it on existing worksheet or new. We'll do existing. Can't do existing, never mind. Because, uh, well, we could target. We'd have to target a different range or uh, a, a different location. Let's see, put it here. Okay, there we go. Uh, so what I do, I'm going to select, I don't care about the, well, we could put the names in there. So what I want to say is I've selected all the, they're going to give you choices at the top here to select your t uh, headers. And then it's going to try to make a table. We want to tabulate it. So what we do, we don't care about uh, filters here. What we want to do is put in the rows, let's put the color first. And then under values, we don't want count the name. We're going to remove this actually. Actually, we could, yeah, we could, we could put that in a filter up here. And email values over here. So now look, it says there's nine blue, 11 green, purple, three, yellow, seven. There's a total of 30, which is correct. We have 30 names here. So that's just one way to tabulate data in a pivot table pretty simple now you can get way more complex here you could add you can add multiple layers um, let's say you've got color here let's say you've also got another uh, another field let's say um, high or low and it, this this could be literally anything I'm just trying to show you different things you can report on uh, a lot of insurance companies will do this with the, their data um, the I mean so the nice thing about using a pivot table is you don't have to worry about your formulas being wrong so that's kind of cool um, so let's make a new pivot table let's delete this one or can we let's actually we can do pivot table analyze select change data source okay now we got this whole thing okay update now hold on where's our there's our values okay so name email high low color Again, I don't care about, name and email are basically the same. That's just one level of information. They're both unique. So we'll just keep the emails in there, it doesn't matter. Now, high-low, we want to be higher than color in this case. So here it says, okay, here's all my high items. Here's my emails that are high and blue. Here's the emails that are high and green emails that are high in purple, yellow, and then here's my low items, and there's there's that. 
and we want to see totals as well. Or tabulations. So we put count of email over here, which is the the email is the highest level of what this is what we're kind of showing as in each bucket. So now look at you've got different subcategories and totals there, subcategories here, and then the grand total. Now you can also go into here and uh see so you can sort this value filters there's all sorts of things but this is just pivot tables are a nice way to tabulate data um, without having to worry about formula errors essentially and you it's hierarchical and like I said you can put these if I were if I wanted to see color first I would do this and then look at now it's saying well for blue there's six high items three low items for green there's 11 high items for purple there's three so this this kind of controls what's reported on first you just flip these up and down um columns we don't really want to go over if we filter this then it could show you know okay i only want to see certain emails we don't really need to worry about that for this uh, so that's basically it. Now, if there was a, let's say there's also a value here. Like numbers attached to each data point. Oop. Just put in some random numbers. Okay. And we're going to do a whole new data pivot table. Delete this. Change data source. Let's get all of this here. Okay. So let's get this back in your email. We want high, low, color, and value. Now look. Uh, email is put over here as well. So I can say, okay, here's all the items that are high. Blue. Here's the count of each data point that's blue and high, green and high, etc., or low and blue, low and yellow. And also here's the sum of all the values here if it's blue 6 or if it's high and blue. So here and let's test it out. If we go to filter, let's just put our own filter on this and I want to say um, high items only that are blue. So high here and color blue. You can see what's my total. 138. And there's how many items here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's 6 items and the total of the values in column E for that are 138. So now let's undo that and look here. 6, 138. So you see that's what the pivot table is telling me. So yeah, I mean it's pretty nice. It does formatting for you. It looks good. Um, if you got clean data structures, you can use this uh, to tabulate data and sum it up without having to worry about errors. And you could have, uh, let's say, let's say there's one more uh, label. Let's say, um, what's another label? Because I'm going to show you how we can go across uh, multiple columns. Uh, let's see. Um, maybe wood, wood, metal, I don't know, cotton, just trying to think of labels. Ceramic. Okay, let's just paste this randomly. 
Okay, now let's update this. So I want to select data source, go to pivot table, analyze, change source. Okay, now we got the whole thing. Uh, let's see, I think we had to actually restart from scratch here. Okay, it's change source. Uh, still not give me the. Oh, I need to relabel this. So this is going to be type. And does it want to refresh? There we go. So now I got type in here. Okay, so again, we go email type high low color value. Now for type, I want type going into columns. So look at this here. Now I have some data going across the top, but I have to figure out how I want to organize this. So I have that going across the top. We have, we want color at the top. Then we want high low, no, we want high low above color. And then emails can show in there if you want to see them. But look at this. We now see what's my total values, because I have values coming over here for cotton and high and blue. Cotton green and blue and high. So there's all my values for all of those. Uh, the subtotals. So that's how you can go across then and see you can do you can do all kinds of layers here. And and it shows me total ceramic that's high, total cotton that's high, and then also total that's blue, and then here's all the items that are each. Now if I don't want to see the email, we can just put that over here. And, or we could remove it and now just see numbers for each of these over the different types of, you know, material, basically this is materials. So this is really, I mean, you, if you've got a lot of uh, hierarchical data with labels and you go down, then you also have values you want to tabulate. This is what a pivot table is pretty good at doing. All right. Hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, do some data analysis, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Check out www.smarthelping.com for many advanced furniture models, tools, templates. I also do custom work and service work uh, for all kinds of Excel and Google Sheet projects. If you need something, let me know. Uh, you can email me, jason, at smarthelping.com. See you later.